can I use a hard money loan, buy a property, and then refinance it out with a DSCR? And the answer is yes. It's just another product to refinance into using the Burr method. Today, I wanna to go through an example of what that would look like going from hard money to DSCR. We're gonna actually do the numbers. You can put in your own numbers. I always encourage you to go through the examples with us. That way you get familiar with it, understand. If you have a piece of paper, grab it and let's go through some numbers. Real quick, for those who are probably new to this, DSCR is just a long-term loan that is used for rental properties. All it is is based on your qualifications on your rents. Do your rents cover all your expenses, your payments, your taxes, insurance, all of those things. They even have products out there now that work. Even if it does not cover it and it's a negative cash flow, you could do that also. The only thing to think about is if the property is not cash flowing for you, you don't like that, neither does a lender. So they're going to actually charge you higher interest rates, maybe lower your loan to value. Let's go through and look at this DSCR in a Burr scenario. When someone asks me, can they use a hard money loan to purchase the property and then refinance into a DSCR? It's all about Burr. Remember when you're doing Burr, there's always two loans involved. There's the buy loan, which in this case is hard money. This is where you use a hard money loan to do the purchase, hopefully do the rehab, cover, carry costs, closing, everything. Hopefully you can wrap it all in there. And then you come back with a refi loan, which in this case, we're talking about DSCR. DSCR comes in many flavors. It comes in interest only, 30 year fix. The one thing you have to ask your lender when you're looking at a DSCR for Burr is when can you use the appraised value over the purchase price? We all understand when you're doing a rate and term and you're using a conventional loan, you could use appraised value after the first day with the right lender, Fannie Freddie allow that. DSCR, each lender kind of writes its own guidelines you need to understand and ask your lender before you get into a DSCR loan, when can I use appraised value? That goes back to our number one point when doing any kind of Burr product, going from hard money, you don't wanna sit in this out long, you need to make sure you understand your refinance loan before you start. Figure out exactly what you qualify for, what you need to maybe raise to qualify before you go out and buy something. You don't wanna be stuck in this hard money loan for months and months paying higher interest rate when you should be already refinanced into a DSCR loan. Make sure you're pre-qualified, make sure you understand when you could use the appraised value. I also have this down here, 100% leverage. You know, we've been doing this system, now called Burr, way before it's called Burr. You know, we call it quick to buy, quick to refi, because you're buying something and refinancing it into a long-term deal. 100% leverage is available and it's coming back you know, back in 2010, 11, and 12, we were doing a lot of 100%, no money out of pocket, that's what 100% leverage means. It means it covered the purchase, covered the rehab, the closing, and even the carry costs. This market is gonna show those things. You just have to make sure you're finding properties that are at least 25% under market. When the market goes down like this, you are gonna find 25, 30, even 40 if you look and be diligent on what you're out there shopping for. If you're looking for 100% leverage, and that's what Burr's all about, especially in times like this, make sure you're finding properties that are 25% or more under market. If you find this information helpful, like this video, it helps us, it helps other investors become more successful. Let's get into the numbers now. When you're getting into Burr, hard money comes first, refinance comes second, but we have to know before we actually close on the loan, what we're qualified for. Let's just say most of the time on a rate and term, even on Burr, it's somewhere between 75 and 80% rate and term. In this case, 75% of the current appraised value is what they're qualified for. When you go to look at keeping your numbers and you wanna to get to the 100%, you need to make sure these three numbers are below the 75% of your after repair value. For example, let's just go through and say we have a property that's going to be valued, appraised after we fixed it up, repaired it for $400,000. If our max LTV is 75% and our ARV is 400,000, what's gonna be the loan amount? It's gonna be 400,000 times 75% or $300,000. This is our max loan. 
that's the maximum we could be into purchase price, rehab, closing, and carrying cost if we want 100%. Anything above $300,000 in any of these categories means it's gonna come out of your pocket because we're above the 75%. Let's look at an example. Let's say the purchase price in our example is 250K for the purchase price. Our rehab in our example, let's just put $35,000 and closing costs and carry costs are 15,000. When we go back to add those three numbers, the 250, the 35, and the 15, in our magical numbers, we get to $300,000. What does this mean? This means if you're using the right hard money lender, they could do a loan when you buy the property, your buy, for $300,000. If they close a loan when you purchase the property for the $300,000, you could refinance this whole amount into a long-term DSCR loan, pay off the hard money loan, and not have anything under, out of pocket. This is happening more and more, or will happen more and more in the coming market, but let's just say, for example, this rehab is $65,000. So it went up 30,000. That means our all-in costs are 330,000. Your hard money lender, if you're used to write hard money, just like hard money Mike, could still only lend to the 300. The 30 grand comes out of your pocket. This is why it's great to know and understand your numbers before you get into a property. What we find is a lot of people get into a hard money loan for this amount and then they can't qualify for the loan to value they thought. Their credit score might be a little bit low because they ran up their credit cards during this process. Maybe they don't have the experience that some lenders want. Shop around, look around, before you get into anything where you're getting into a hard money to refinance it out for a burr, make sure you qualify and understand what your parameters are for your long-term, your DSCR loan. If you have any questions on these numbers, we'd be glad to help. Or if you have a deal where you're looking for the 100% financing, reach out to us, Hard Money Mike. We'd be glad to help you be successful in Burr.